Okay, so to put in this glass block window, we've got uh, some material laid out here. So what I did was with the, the glass blocks, I, I went through them all and I made sure that they weren't broken, uh, chipped, cracked. Uh, now's the time to find out before you lay them into mortar. Okay, so I've gone through them all, wiped them all off. And uh, the other thing with glass blocks is often there's, if there's, you know, these are sort of opaque. These are opaque. And it's maybe difficult to see here, but there's a bit of a pattern. And so what I've done is I've orientated the pattern all the same way. So sort of there's a theme that, that lines go uh, kind of that way to that corner. So I've orientated them all that way for now. And when I put them in, I'll try and put them in, a, you know, if that's my, you know, if that's what you're trying to do, if you, if you don't care that they're random or there's one that's out of whack, you know, at the time, I, for my preference, I would, I would make sure they're all orientated the same way. I think that'll look better, especially in a small window like this. You'll, I think you'll really notice one that's not uh, lined up right. Uh, I got uh, a bucket with some clean water in it. I've got a drill with a mixing paddle. You don't need that. You can do it with a stick. You can mix it with anything you've got on hand. But I just happen to have that. I've got uh, the mortar, and uh, the mortar I was given. For this job, the guy said it'll work for glass block as well. It says it's mosaic and glass tile. Uh, I think the key uh, feature of the, this type of mortar is that it will stick well to glass. So it'll stick well to glass tile. It'll stick well to glass block. And so I've got this. So I've got three bags of that. Hopefully that's enough for the job. I think it will be. I've got uh, a sponge to wipe it off as I go. Uh, a trowel. I've got a tape to measure. Uh, I'll show you here in the window in a second. I've got uh, over here, I've got some uh, all-around strapping I've cut. And what I'm going to do, you'll see as I, as I build the, the window, I'll put these in over every course and screw it to the framing on each side and they'll lay in on top of the, um, the block and embed in the mortar. And what it'll do is, is help uh, prevent the window from being pushed out either in or out and of course a level and a drill to and some screws to put that uh, those brackets in with and uh, yeah that's about it for material a pair of gloves uh, that's corrosive right so you want to be careful that you don't get that on your hands or in your eyes for that matter so this just shows the first course of blocks sitting in place I put a 2 by 4 behind them on the outside and so the blocks will sit right back against like that now uh, one thing to note is they make pre-made glass block, block windows um, you know in the configuration that you may need uh, that's not what I had in this case I just had uh, these loose blocks so I'm going to build it the traditional way like brick and mortar type construction but it's not a very big window it's only going to be 15 blocks so uh, I think it'll be fine, but like I say, if you okay, Let me get this mixed up. Uh, a bit of water in here just to start. It's less than a liter. Get this stuff in there. want it quite dry so I'm not going to add too much water. That's the mistake a lot of people make when they mix concrete mixes. They, they drown it. It's too runny. Uh -uh. 
is almost it. Or Okay, I just want to show you what I got going here so far. I got the first three blocks set in the mortar, and I got the spacing pretty good. I don't, I'm not using spacers, I'm just uh, eyeballing it, so I had to shift them back and forth a little bit. Got it pretty good, I got it centered. Of course, there's still going to be, you know, some, uh, some mortar, wet mortar here. I've gone over it with a damp sponge just to show you what I've got. Um, the other thing I've done is I put this steel strap in here. I've laid, laid it in the mortar on the top of uh, all the other blocks. You can see it there. And get a little closer. I've got that in there. Screwed onto both sides. And I'm going to get some more mortar on top of that. And put some more. And then I'm going to get my next layer of blocks on top. And then I'll go outside and check and see if uh, I can move my. 2x4 up to, to uh, hold the backs of those as we go and uh, yeah I think I got about the right consistency on the mud it's quite heavy and uh, just a little damp and we'll see what how it goes okay I'll check back here in a minute okay Okay, I've buttered both sides of this. You see how the mud is quite heavy. It's not very liquid. Got some on the bottom there. And that'll squeeze out as I put the block in. Now, 